Jerusalem must be destroyed. O Jerusalem, wash thy heart from wickedness. Destruction upon destruction is crime, for the whole land is spoiled. For thus hath the Lord said, the whole land shall be desolate. Almighty, Father of all, please hear the words of thy servant Lehi. The heart of thy servant aches for the souls of thy children in Jerusalem. I fear terrible destruction awaits them if they will not turn their hearts from wickedness. Blessed art thou, Lehi, because of thy faith. Ah, Nephi. Please, take him. See to it quickly. Yes, Father. Father, are you well? Yes, thank you. Lehi. Sariah. What has happened? spoke unto me. After returning from Jerusalem, I was, I was overcome with the Spirit. I was carried away in a vision, even that I saw the heavens open, and I saw God sitting on his throne. I saw one descending out of the midst of heaven, and his luster. was above that of the sun at noonday. And I also saw 12 others following him. And the first came and stood before me and gave unto me a book. As I read, I was filled with the spirit of the Lord. And many things did I read concerning Jerusalem, that it should be destroyed. What does the Lord want us to do? Great and marvelous are the works of the Lord God Almighty. I know that he will not suffer those who come unto him to perish. He has commanded me to declare the things I have seen and heard to the people of Jerusalem. at Jerusalem all my days. I am a man who fears God. I have had a vision. Even that I saw the heavens open, 
and I saw God sitting upon his throne. Another mad prophet! <laughs> I have seen many things concerning Jerusalem, that it shall be destroyed and the inhabitants thereof. You are a fool! Many shall perish by the sword, and many shall be carried away captive into Babylon. And this because of the wickedness and the abominations of the people of Jerusalem. You should perish by the sword. There is a Messiah coming who will redeem the world. He speaks blasphemy. He speaks the truth. Slay him. Please listen. I do not understand him. The city has many prophets. Why should Father speak up at all? He had a dream. Let him dream his dreams, but let him keep them to himself. Do you not suppose it may be true? Whether it is true or not, it will destroy this family. Layman. What is it, Father? Gather the family. Jerusalem is... Her children are ripe with iniquity. They do not even try to hide the wickedness that is in their hearts. There are many good people who keep the law of Moses. There are others who seek to take away my life. The Lord spake unto me, even in a dream. And the Lord commanded me that I should take my family and depart into the wilderness. Laman, Lemuel, you will prepare the camels for a long journey. How long? One that will not bring us back to Jerusalem. We are abandoning our home. Sam, Nephi. Help your mother to gather all the provisions we will need for our journey. Yes, Father. Father. Please. The Lord has commanded it. Yes, Father. It seems you are correct. Father has indeed gone mad. Quiet. Leave those. But... Father, we, we may need them for trade or for drinking. We have been commanded to take nothing, save it be our family, provisions, and tents. Obey your father, Lemuel. Leave the gold and silver as the Lord commands.
thank thee for thy mercy in protecting us and delivering us from the destruction of Jerusalem. We pray, Father, that thou wilt guide us through this wilderness and that we will have the faith to follow thee. Why do we have to obey him? He's a visionary man. He led us out of the land of our inheritance. And for what? To perish in the wilderness. We suffer because of the foolish imaginations of his heart. You know not the dealings of that God who has created you. Laman, oh, that thou mightest be like unto this river, continually running into the fountain of all righteousness. And Lemuel, oh, that thou mightest be like unto this valley, firm and steadfast and immovable in keeping the commandments of the Lord. I do not believe that Jerusalem, that great city, can be destroyed according to the words of the prophets. Your hearts are hard. And you are stiff-necked like unto the Jews who were at Jerusalem, who sought to take away my life. He is God, and in his great mercy, we are delivered from destruction. If we keep God's commandments, we will prosper. If we do not, we will perish. Father said. I do. Why? I did cry unto the Lord. And he did visit me. And it softened my heart. I did believe. I believe you, Nephi. to thee to pray for my brethren. Laman and Lemuel, their hearts are hard, Lord. Father, I grieve for them. Blessed art thou, Nephi, because of thy faith. For thou hast sought me diligently with lowliness of heart. And inasmuch as ye shall keep my commandments, ye shall prosper, and shall be led to a land of promise. And inasmuch as thy brethren shall rebel against thee, they shall be cut off from the presence of the Lord. And inasmuch as thou shalt keep my commandments, thou shalt be made a ruler and a teacher over thy brethren.
Yes, Nephi. Come in. Come in, sit with me. The Lord hath commanded me that thou and thy brethren shall return to Jerusalem. Laban hath the record of the Jews, and also a genealogy of my forefathers, and they are engraven upon plates of brass. Thou and thy brother should go unto the house of Laban and seek the records, and bring them down hither into the wilderness. I suppose Laman and Lemuel have refused? They murmur, saying it is a hard thing which I have required of them, but I have not required it of them. But it is a commandment of the Lord. I will go and do the things which the Lord hath commanded. For I know that the Lord giveth no commandment unto the children of men, save he shall prepare a way for them, that they may accomplish the thing which he commanded them. Thou hast been blessed of the Lord. Which of us shall go? The layman. As the eldest, you have always claimed the right and privilege of being first among us. We will cast lots. As I said, of your success.
Please, sit, sit. Thank you. Zora, fetch this man some wine. Uh, that will not be necessary. It is kind, but my visit will be brief. But well? Tell me, what have you come to discuss with me? My father, Lehi, has sent me. has commanded us to ask thee for the records which are engraven upon the plates of brass, the records which contain the genealogy of my father. The plates of brass have been handed down in my family for generations. Your father believes I should simply give them to you? Now, what if I were to cry out, claiming thou art a robber? Then I would be within my rights to slay you, would I not? I... Thou art a robber! I will slay thee! You did not fare so well. At least I am alive. Called me a robber. Threatened to slay me. Now what shall we do? We return to our father in the wilderness. We will not go down to our father in the wilderness until we have accomplished the thing which the Lord hath commanded us. Nephi, I tried. He will not give us the plates. Wait. Let us go down to the land of our father's inheritance. He has left gold and silver and all manner of riches. He knew that Jerusalem must be destroyed because of the wickedness of the people. And it is wisdom in God that we should obtain these records, that we may preserve unto our children the language of our fathers, and also that we may preserve unto them the words which have been spoken by the mouth of all the holy prophets. cold. The Lord will not forsake them. You are a visionary man. Thou hast led us forth from the land of our inheritance. And my sons are no more, and now we perish in the wilderness. I have not seen what you have seen. I cannot help but fear for their lives. Soraya, I know I am a visionary man. For if I had not seen the things of God in a vision, I should not have known the goodness of God, but had tarried at Jerusalem and had perished with my brethren. I know the Lord will deliver our sons out of the hands of life and bring them down again unto us.
Once again, the Lord has commanded us to ask for the records which are engraven upon the plates of brass, for which we will give unto you our gold and our silver and all our precious things. Sir. Beautiful. Beautiful. I am quite pleased with your generous honor. Guards! Thieves! There are thieves in my house! You are the thieves! Slay them! Slay them all! another way. There is no other way! What do you propose now? Return to the house of that thief! They'll kill us before we get to the door. We must go back. We cannot disappoint Father or the Lord. You are a fool. You are a fool! Father is a fool! Why do ye smite your younger brother with a rod? Know ye not that the Lord hath chosen him to be a ruler over you? This because of your iniquities. Behold, ye shall go up to Jerusalem again, and the Lord will deliver Laban into your hands. that the Lord will deliver Laban into our hands. He is a mighty man. He can command 50. Yea, even he can slay 50. Then why not us? Let us go up again into Jerusalem. Let us be faithful in keeping the commandments of the Lord. He is mightier than all of the earth. Then why not mightier than Laban and his fifty? Or even than his tens of thousands? Let us go up. Let us be strong like unto Moses. For he truly spake unto the waters of the Red Sea. And they divided it. And our fathers came through out of captivity on dry ground. Nephi. This is not the same. An angel has spoken unto you. Wherefore can ye doubt? Let us go up. The Lord is able to deliver us, even as our fathers.
Nephi. If Laban or any of his god catch you, they will kill you. Stay here. Hide yourselves until I return. God be with you. Thou must kill Laban. Never at any time have I shed the blood of man. Nephi, the Lord hath delivered him into thy hands. Behold, the Lord slayeth the wicked to bring forth his righteous purposes. It is better that one man should perish than that a nation should dwindle and perish in unbelief. Master Laban, have you returned already? Zoram, go with me into the treasury. As you wish. And how fare the elders of the Jews this evening? I know that you've been out by night among them. I shall carry the engravings which are upon the plates of brass to my elder brethren who are without the walls. Of course, Master Laban, thank you. Come with me to meet my brethren. Of course, Master Laban, thank you. For this opportunity to attend thee as you meet with your brethren of the elders at this late hour. Who do you see? Laban. It's Laban. The other was him, is it Nephi? No. 
Layman, Lemuel, Sam, it is I, Nephi. Ah! Ah! Oh, be still. If you will hearken unto my words as the Lord liveth, and as I live, we will spare your life. I speak unto you even with an oath that you need not fear. If you go down into the wilderness with us, you will be a free man. The Lord hath commanded us to do this thing. And if you will come down into the wilderness to the tent of my father, thou shalt have place with us. I promise thee, I will go down into the wilderness unto thy father. I make an oath with thee. I will tarry with thee from this time forth. In the plates, Father. Now I know of a surety that the Lord hath commanded my husband to flee into the wilderness. And I also know of a surety that the Lord hath protected my son and delivered them out of the hands of Laban and given them power. whereby they could accomplish the thing which the Lord hath commanded them. Come, we must offer sacrifice and burn offerings unto the Lord and give thanks unto the God of Israel. contain the five books of Moses and an account of Adam and Eve, our first parents. Also the prophecies of the holy prophets. Yes. And more. Look, the genealogy of my fathers. I am a descendant of Joseph. Even that same Joseph who was the son of Jacob who was sold into Egypt. Spirit has shown me that these plates of brass shall go forth unto all nations, kindreds, tongues, and people who are of my seed. It is wisdom in the Lord that we should have them. They are of great worth unto us, insomuch that we can preserve the commandments of the Lord unto our children.
Sarai, the Lord has spoken unto me. It is not me to take my family into the wilderness alone, but that my son should take daughters to wife, that they might raise up seed unto the Lord in the land of promise. Mm. I will gather our sons, and as a family, we can thank the Lord for answering my prayers as well. to wife, that we might raise up children. Unto the Lord in the land of promise. Yes, but a wife and a family. <laughs> Never see you again. Where are Lehi and Sariah? Ishmael, our father sends us with the message. We must speak with you. Of course. Come, sit. We doubted our father's vision for a time. But in our journey to get the plates, we saw an angel. As bright as the sun at noonday in the cave where we stood. Our father was shown that Jerusalem will be destroyed, that many shall perish by the sword and many more carried away captive into Babylon. The Lord desires that the house of Ishmael join with the house of Lehi in the wilderness to journey to a land of promise that he has prepared for us. The Lord wishes that I and my family go with Lehi and his family into the wilderness? Yes. We know that Lehi is a faithful man. Do we not also believe what he has taught in the words of all the prophets? Father Ishmael, our two families are a branch of the house of Israel. The Lord desires that our families unite, that we might inherit the land of promise. Come with us. Let us ask the Lord. is hopeless. We should return home. <laughs> Things of sun and sand and more sun? <laughs> at my own home, I could at least rest in the shade. You. See, the Lord desires this union of our families. Yes, yes, he does. For what purpose? Why have we forsaken so much for so little? We have done it because our parents are fools. Why should we not go back? 
Let Nephi and Sam wander the wilderness with mother and father. <laughs> Lumpy Wolf, if you return to Jerusalem, you will perish with everyone there. Better to perish in Jerusalem than perishing here. Layman, Lemuel. Father is not the only fool. We too are fools for following him. Please, ye are my elder brethren. And how is it that ye are so hard in your hearts and so blind in your minds that ye have need that I, your younger brother, should speak unto you? Yea, and set an example for you. It would be wise to see such talk, little brother. How is it that ye have not hearkened unto the word of the Lord? How is it that ye have forgotten that ye have seen an angel of the Lord? How is it that ye have forgotten that the Lord is able to do all things according to his will for the children of men, if it so be that we exercise faith in him? If we are faithful to him, we shall obtain the land of promise. And ye shall know that the word of the Lord shall be fulfilled concerning the destruction of Jerusalem. The spirit of the Lord ceaseth soon to strive with them. They have rejected the prophets, and Jeremiah they have cast into prison. And they have sought to take away the life of my father. Your father. I will not be lectured by a boy! If you will return to Jerusalem, you shall also perish with them. And now if you have choice, go up to the land, and remember the words which I speak unto you. If you go, you shall also perish. For thus the Spirit of the Lord constraineth me that I should speak. Hold him! Hold him! Layman! Thou deliver me from the hands of my brethren. Yea, even give me strength that I may burst these bands with which I am bound. you a great wrong. I'm sorry as well. Please forgive me. I forgive you. But I exhort you to pray to the Lord your God for forgiveness. We will. We will. Raya, they have arrived. Yeah. <laughs> 
Sons, wake up. Come to my tent. Is it even dawn yet? No. I have dreamed a dream, or in other words, I have seen a vision. And because of the thing I have seen, I have reason to rejoice in the Lord because of Nephi, and also of Sam. I have reason to suppose that they, and also many of their seed, will be saved. But Laman and Lemuel, I fear exceedingly because of you. I saw in my dream a dark and dreary wilderness. Lehi, come with me. As I partook of the fruit, it filled my soul with exceedingly great joy. Wherefore, I began to be desirous that my family should partake of it also. For I knew that it was desirable above all other fruit. And as I cast my eyes round about that perhaps I might discover my family also, I beheld a river of water. Soraya! Sam! 
Nephi, come to me, partake of the fruit. above all other fruit. Layman, Lemuel, come, partake of the fruit. not come unto me and partake of the fruit. Lame. Lame me over. And I beheld a rod of iron. And it extended along the bank of the river and led to the tree by which I stood. And I also beheld a straight and narrow path which came along by the rod of iron even to the tree by which I stood. And it also led by the head of the fountain unto a large and spacious field as if it had been a world. And I saw numberless concourses of people, many of whom were pressing forward, that they might obtain the path which led unto the tree. And it came to pass that there arose a mist of darkness, yea, even an exceedingly great mist of darkness, insomuch that they who had commenced on the path did lose their way, that they wandered off and were lost. I beheld others pressing forward, and they came forth and caught hold of the end of the rod of iron. And they did press forward through the mist of darkness, clinging to the rod of iron, even until they did come forth and partake of the fruit of the tree. I beheld on the other side of the river of water a great and spacious building, and it stood as it were in the air, high above the earth. And it was filled with people, both old and young, both male and female, and their manner of dress was exceedingly fine. How pitiful! And they were in the attitude of mocking pointing their fingers towards those who had come at and were partaking of the fruit. And after they had partaken of the fruit of the tree, they did cast their eyes about as if they were ashamed because of those that were scoffing at them. And they fell away into forbidden paths and were lost. I saw other multitudes pressing forward, and they came and caught hold of the end of the rod of iron, and they did press their way forward, continually holding fast to the rod of iron, until they came forth and fell down and partook of the fruit of the tree.
and many were drowned in the depths of the fountain. And many were lost from view, wandering in strange roads. And great was the multitude that did enter into that strange building. And after they did enter into that building, they did point the finger of scorn at me and those that were partaking of the fruit also. But we heeded them not. You walk toward nothing. Come join us. For as many as heeded them had fallen away. Simon. Lemuel. We have everything. You have nothing. Laman and Lemuel partook not of the fruit. Exceedingly for you, my sons. And I plead with you, hearken to my words that perhaps the Lord will be merciful and not cast you off. Please keep the commandments of the Lord. After the Jews should be destroyed, even that great city, Jerusalem, they should return again. Yea, even be brought back out of captivity. 600 years from the time that we left Jerusalem, a prophet will the Lord God raise up among the Jews, even a Messiah, or in other words, a savior of the world. Remember the prophet. How great a number have testified of this Messiah, this Redeemer of the world. And this Messiah will be slain. And after he had been slain, he shall rise from the dead and shall make himself manifest by the Holy Ghost unto the Gentiles. We, the house of Israel, shall be led with one accord into the land of promise, unto the fulfilling of the word of the Lord, that the house of Israel should be scattered upon all the face of the earth. And after the house of Israel should be scattered, they shall be gathered together again, or come to the knowledge of the true Messiah, their Lord and their Redeemer. Lord, I have heard all the words of my father. I believe that thou art able to make them known unto me. Behold, what desirest thou? I desire to behold the things which my father saw. Believest thou that thy father saw the tree of which he hath spoken? Yea, thou knowest that I believe all the words of my father. Hosanna to the Lord, the most high God, for he is God over all the earth, yea, even above all. And blessed art thou, Nephi because thou believest in the Son of the Most High God. Wherefore thou shalt behold the things which thou hast desired. And behold, this thing shall be given unto thee for a sign, 
that after thou hast beheld the tree which bore the fruit which thy father tasted, thou shalt also behold a man descending out of heaven, and him shall ye witness. And after ye have witnessed him, ye shall bear record that it is the Son of God. Look. Thou hast shown unto me the tree which is precious above all. What desirest thou? To know the interpretation thereof. Look. Nephi, what beholdest thou? A virgin, most beautiful and fair above all other virgins. Knowest thou the condescension of God? I know that he loveth his children. Nevertheless, I do not know the meaning of all things. Behold, the virgin whom thou seest is the mother of the Son of God, after the manner of the flesh. Look. Behold the Lamb of God, yea, even the Son of the Eternal Father. Knowest thou the meaning of the tree which thy father saw? Yea, it is the love of God, which sheddeth itself abroad in the hearts of the children of men. Wherefore, it is the most desirable above all things. Yea, and the most joyous to the soul. Look. The iron rod which my father saw, it is the word of God, which leads to the tree of life. Look and behold the condescension of God. sins of the world, the multitudes of the earth gathered together to fight against the apostles of the Lamb. Behold the world and the wisdom thereof. Thus shall be the destruction of all nations, kindreds, tongues, and people that shall fight against the twelve apostles of the Lamb. Look, behold thy seed, and also the seed of thy brethren. Behold the twelve disciples of the Lamb, who are chosen to minister to thy seed. Because of their faith in the Lamb of God, their garments are made white in his blood. Behold thy seed, and also the seed of thy brethren, after four generations have passed away in righteousness. Behold the fountain of filthy water which thy father saw, Yea, even the river of which he spake, and the depths thereof 
are the depths of hell. And the mists of darkness are the temptations of the devil, which blindeth the eyes and hardeneth the hearts of the children of men, and leadeth them away into broad roads that they perish and are lost. And the large and spacious building which thy father saw is vain imaginations and the pride of the children of men. The seed of my brethren, they contend against my seed. Behold, these shall dwindle in unbelief. Look, what beholdest thou? I behold many nations and kingdoms. These are the nations and kingdoms of the Gentiles. The Spirit of the Lord will move upon the Gentiles, and they will go forth out of captivity upon the many waters. Knowest thou the meaning of the book? I know not. The book that thou beholdest is a record of the Jews, which contains the covenants of the Lord which he hath made unto the house of Israel. And it also containeth many of the prophecies of the holy prophets. And when it proceedeth forth from the mouth of a Jew, it contained the fullness of the gospel of the Lord, of whom the twelve apostles bear record. Thou seest the formation of that great and abominable church which is most abominable above all of the churches. They have taken away from the gospel of the Lamb many parts which are plain and most precious, and also many covenants of the Lord have they taken away. Because of these things which are taken away out of the gospel of the Lamb, an exceedingly great many do stumble, and so much that Satan hath great power over them. Saith the Lamb of God, I will be merciful unto the Gentiles in that day, insomuch that I will bring forth unto them in mine own power much of my gospel, which shall be plain and precious. For behold, saith the Lamb, I will manifest myself unto thy seed, that they shall write many things which I shall minister unto them, which shall be plain and precious. And after thy seed shall be destroyed and dwindle in unbelief, and also the seed of thy brethren. Behold, these things shall be hid up to come forth unto the Gentiles by the gift and power of the Lamb. These last records, which thou hast seen among the Gentiles, shall establish the truth of the first, which are the twelve apostles of the Lamb, and shall make known the plain and precious things which have been taken away from them, and shall make known to all nations, kindreds, tongues, and people that the Lamb of God is the Son of the Eternal Father and the Savior of the world, and that all men must come unto him or they cannot be saved. For the time cometh, saith the Lamb of God, that I will work a great and a marvelous work among the children of men a work which shall be everlasting. The Church of the Lamb of God, its numbers are few. The power of the Lamb of God descends upon the covenant people of the Lord, who are scattered upon all the face of the earth. And they were armed with righteousness and the power of God in great glory. Messiah, scattering of Israel. None of it makes any sense. Maybe 
We are not meant to understand it yet. Then why does he tell us at all? What is the cause of these disputations? We cannot understand the words which our father hath spoken. Have you inquired of the Lord? <laughs> we have not. The Lord maketh no such thing known unto us. Lame. The thing which our father meaneth is that in the latter days, when our seed shall have dwindled in unbelief, then shall the fullness of the gospel of the Messiah come forth unto the Gentiles, and from the Gentiles unto the remnant of our seed. And at that day shall the remnant of our seed know that they are of the house of Israel, and that they are the covenant people of the Lord. They shall come to a knowledge of their Redeemer, and the very points of his doctrine, that they may know how to come unto him and be saved. with gratitude for your faith, for joining us on this difficult journey. Your faith is a great gift. My sons and now daughters, we have fulfilled all the commandments of the Lord which have been given unto us. We have been blessed of the Lord exceedingly. Please eat. The Lord spake unto me by night. He commanded me to take our journey into the wilderness. Father, in which direction will we go? The Lord has provided means for us to follow his path. Behold the two spindles. The one points the way whither we should go. The path is clear. Let us depart.
across the River Lehman. We will travel to the south, southeast of Stay on the path. The Lord will provide. Be prayerful. Be safe. Do not worry. We will find food. How? Your bows having lost their springs. Layman! I tell you again, we will find food. You draw so hard. What is the matter with you? Now what will we do? Father, because of our brother's strength and God's curse upon us, we are without food. How? Oh. Where shall we go for food now? Great leader. We have been prayerful. Obedient, we have done all we have been commanded to do. What more could we have done? Why? Why has the Lord chosen now to abandon us? The Lord will provide. The Lord will provide! The Lord has led us out here to perish. We don't need the Lord. We need food! Do not revile against the Lord! He has delivered us thus far, he will do so again. You have hardened your hearts again. 
even as you're complaining against the Lord, the Lord will provide. No. Father's correct. The Lord has abandoned us. What is that fool doing? Father. Whither shall I go to obtain food? Oh, my son. Thank you for your faith. Wait here. Forgive me. The Lord told me to look upon the ball and behold the things which are written. How is this possible? What is it? There are new writings. The pointers which are in the ball, they work according to the faith and diligence and heed which we give unto them.
give thee thanks. May we remember that with great faith and diligence and through small means thou canst bring about great things. sweet, that ye cook it not. I will also be your light in the wilderness, and I will prepare the way before you, if it so be that ye shall keep my commandments. Wherefore, inasmuch as ye shall keep my commandments, ye shall be led towards the promised land. And ye shall know that it is by me that ye are led. Beautiful and rich. It is a bountiful land. Mm. 
Nephite. Arise. Get thee into the mountain. What is thy will, Lord? Thou shalt construct a ship after the manner which I shall show thee, that I may carry thy people across these waters. Whither shall I go, that I may find ore to molten, that I may make tools to construct the ship after the manner which thou hast shown unto me? Making tools. Four? The Lord has commanded me in a vision and has shown me how to build a ship to carry our people across these waters. <laughs> Nephi, this is madness. Working together, we can be. You will get no help from us. Here we have found a land of promise. Here we will stay. We know that ye cannot construct a ship. Thou art like unto our father, led away by the foolish imaginations of his heart. He hath led us out of the land of Jerusalem, and we have wandered in the wilderness these many years. And our women? Our women have toiled, and they have borne children in the wilderness and suffered all things save it were death. It would have been better that they had died before they came out of Jerusalem than to have suffered these afflictions. These many years we have suffered in the wilderness which time we might have enjoyed our possessions and the land of our inheritance. And we might have been happy. The people of Jerusalem were about to be... The people who were in the land of Jerusalem were a righteous people. They kept the statutes and judgments of the Lord and all his commandments according to the law of Moses. Do you believe that our fathers would have been led away out of the hands of the Egyptians if the Lord had not commanded Moses that he should lead them out of bondage? That has nothing to do with this. You know that Moses was commanded of the Lord to do that great work. And you know that by his word, the waters of the Red Sea were divided, and they passed through on dry ground. You are not Moses, and this is not the Red Sea. You are swift to do iniquity, but slow to remember the Lord your God. You have seen an angel, and he spake unto you. Ye have heard his voice. And he hath spoken unto you in a still, small voice. But ye were past feeling that ye could not feel his words. Why is it that ye can be so hard in your hearts? My soul is rent with anguish because of you. And my heart is pained. I fear lest ye shall be cast off forever. I am filled with the Spirit of God, and so much my frame has no strength. In 
the name of the Almighty God, I command you that she touch me not. For I am filled with the power of God, even unto the consuming of my flesh. And whoso shall lay his hands upon me shall wither even as a dry reed. And they shall be as not before the power of God, for God shall smite him. Murmur no more against our Father. And do not withhold your labor from me. For God has commanded me that I should build a ship. The Lord had commanded me to do all things I could do. If the Lord hath such great power, and hath wrought so many miracles, then how is he cannot instruct me that I should build a ship? Nephi, stretch forth thine hand again unto thy brethren, and I will shock them, that they may know that I am the Lord their God. father and thy mother. It is good. to the promised land.
You can count the stars, Jacob. Hey, get out of here. <laughs> Raymond, tell me. Mm. What do you think of this sturdy, fine ship we have built? We have built. You mean to see the ship I have built? <laughs> <laughs> hey, come. Yeah. OK. <laughs> yeah. See his face? <laughs> <laughs> this is righteousness. <laughs> Let us not forget by what power we have been brought here. I fear exceedingly lest the Lord should be angry with us. Nephi fears exceedingly lest the Lord should be angry with us. Go below. Lame. I fear lest he should smite us because of our iniquity. We will not that our younger brother should be a ruler over us. Lame it! suffer this rebellion. Silence, Father! Remember. <laughs> 
to the fulfillment of his word, which he hath spoken concerning, concerning the wicked.
Jacob, it works according to our faith and obedience. I'm going to see how you know this. Whether it's the food or find the promised land. Look, look! 